The last type of Kaposi sarcoma under epidemiological classification is the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome associated Kaposi sarcoma or simply we can call it as AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma or epidemic Kaposi sarcoma. So it is AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma or we can say epidemic Kaposi sarcoma. AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma or epidemic Kaposi sarcoma. So the name itself says that AIDS is the one which is the culprit in AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma and this AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma often involves lymph nodes and disseminates widely to viscera early in the course. So initially involves initially involve lymph nodes right initially it involves lymph nodes and disseminates widely to viscera in the early course of the disease viscera that is early course of AIDS in the early course of AIDS it often involves lymph nodes and immediately disseminates to the viscera. So there is a reason visceral involvement is also seen in the early stages of the disease in AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma which is also called as epidemic Kaposi sarcoma. So majority of the patients eventually die because of the opportunistic infections rather than that of the Kaposi sarcoma. This is very very important point to remember. So, AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma is not the cause of death in Kaposi sarcoma which is associated with AIDS rather than AIDS is the one which is the culprit responsible for the death of the individual but not the Kaposi sarcoma over here. So cause of death in AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma is the AIDS itself mainly because of immunocompromisation. Immunocompromisation and mainly because of opportunistic infections. So this is the cause of death in AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma but the Kaposi sarcoma is not the cause of death. Now what are the predominant risk groups? So predominant risk groups. So mainly men who have sex with men especially in developed countries. So men who have sex with men, mainly in the developed countries. Men who have sex with the men, especially in developed countries, is considered to be the important predominant risk groups or heterosexual men and women in the Africa. Heterosexual men and women in the Africa. So these are considered to be the predominant risk groups right yeah. Now let us talk about the cutaneous as well as visceral involvement. So cutaneous involvement is localized or disseminated localized and disseminated localized and disseminated and when we talk about the visceral involvement which is important in AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma is common with poor HIV control. So generally I will write as common right yeah. Cutaneous involvement is localized as well as disseminated and visceral involvement is pretty common in AIDS associated and depending upon the severity of the infection these uh, AIDS associated Kaposi sarcomas may be indolent or aggressive but remember that they often regress with an effective HIV treatment. The only way to treat this AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma is by giving effective treatment of HIV infection right. So by this we completed the fourth type that is AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma.